That's a plaster. Is it? That's not drywall, is it? So do you start with the big blade or the small blade? Small blade. Small blade? Yeah, you gotta work your way up. It'll only start with that, and then once you have a cut in there, this slides in the cut, so it allows it to get onto that pin trigger head. How tall is that blade? A 54. 54 inch? More manageable to, to take out. Yeah. Which, I don't remember which one you was saying, it's 100, 150 pounds per cubic foot. Concrete, so that'd be easy enough to figure out. What do you want to take? Do a cut and just see what kind of as a, uh, as a gauge for how I can do, Yeah, I can do these, because I'll do these two sides first. Yeah. And then we'll go, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious to do one side and see yeah, how quick that seems to go. Know what you want to do as far as are you guys gonna double cut? Um, now, will you have to remount the anchors, or do you have any lateral? I have play, but it's not gonna be much. It's probably gonna be maybe an inch. Question for you: Is it going what you thought it was? I had no idea what to expect. So far, I, I'm pretty pleased. I think it's going uh, going as good as could be expected. How about you? Good. I was surprised how fast the saw works. Oh, it was incredibly fast. Kind of a little. <laughs> we'll see in the video. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, a lot of people's going to ask, who are you and why do you want a vault? <laughs> Good question. Uh, at Fassel, it's my name. Um, I always do the sorts of uh, things that I guess others maybe wouldn't uh, normally want or try to attempt. So this doesn't surprise my wife in any 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 way at all. Um, Pete, Pete the safe mover, when he was uh, moving my my gun safes in, showed me a picture. I guess he had been to your place recently, shortly there uh, prior, and uh, he showed me some pictures of the safe and said it was the neatest thing in the 68 years of moving vaults that he he was uh, taken by his size. Said it was what he called reasonable and. Uh, uh, he showed me photos of it, I think that was on a Wednesday, 
And then that Friday afternoon, I think you and I had come to a deal for me to buy it. So I bought, uh, the intent is to put it in my house. Um, just bought a new house. And uh, I have a, uh, a room for my gun safes. And I want that as the entryway into that room. So uh, fortunately, <coughs> my basement has uh, nine foot ceilings. It's high enough that it should fit right in. And the uh, room where I'm going to put it is a, a double door, um, so it's got width enough to accommodate something like that. So um, I actually think that well executed, it's going to be pretty stunning inside of a home. You know, I think it uh, was built with craftsmanship and quality years ago, and you can see that when you look up close to the detail of the door. And uh, I'd like to see it get repurposed. It's still yet going to be a process to get it installed. Um, you know it installed? <laughs> I really don't because for what I'm going to do with it once I get it out here, I'm going to bring it to my my business and kind of map out my plan there because there's still work that needs to be done on my house from uh, two of the four walls <clears throat> would need to be uh, framed with structural steel to support it and I've already consulted with a structural engineer on what would need to be done with that and it's doable. I just need to create that plan. Uh, so for the time being, I'm gonna hold it in my shop. I'm gonna probably uh, work to chip out the, the concrete that remains around the, the frame of the uh, transom, kind of get it prepped up for the sake of uh, what that next step's gonna be <clears throat> and how exactly I'm gonna facilitate that because if you saw where my house is, there's no easy way to get it into the backyard, which is the way we need to go in because I have a walk-in in the back so I'm probably going to have to have a hydraulic boot drain put it in my backyard uh, at a distance from my driveway and then uh, whether or not Pete's going to want to <laughs> continue to assist or not I don't know. And with that door being as heavy as this how are you going to level and warm it up well, as perfect as it is? That's where, that's where you consult with others right? Yeah. <laughs> Turn to the experts. Because uh, what he told me, that door weighs a little over 3,000 pounds. Yeah. Just the door, not the frame. Right. So it's going to be hard to maneuver around. Well, it won't be easy. And you know, I think it's, it's one of those where it's mind over matter, and it certainly it can be done. Um, I mean, heck, years ago, uh, the Egyptians built the pyramids, right? right? And they had no modern tools, and look what they did. So. Um, what I say earlier, nothing worthwhile is ever easy, right? That's right. Well, this is day two. What are you expecting today? Oh, good, good stuff. <laughs> keep my, uh, keep, I don't know, keep thinking positive here. I think today we'll be telling. Getting, uh, getting the top cut done and then, uh, Hopefully being able to uh, clear that concrete out and pull on it a little bit just to see if it, uh, uh, get the sense it's gonna break loose or if it's gonna continue to resist.
push out, and, but we gotta make sure that it, it starts to move. Well, you know what we can also do from a control standpoint? Well, here, hang on. 